Hey everybody, this is another quick video. This one is going to highlight the day, month, year, hour, minute, second functions. And then I want I do want to spend the majority of the time talking about the weekday function because this is probably something that might need a little more explanation. But by and large, um, if we look at this, uh, let's, let's take this from here. And we've got this... Well, actually, we can take it from here. So what is this? Label 5. So if we do, let's see, start off with day. And LAB, label 5.txt, right? All right, so we've got label 5.txt. This is giving us the day back out of this date timestamp. We could also use a date timestamp, not date time. But in any event, I'm just using this. And it's bringing back literally the day. Nothing magical here. Um, the only call out that I'll say for all of these functions, and this includes day, month, year, hour, minute, second, is that you might want to use this to extract uh, a single value within a date timestamp. Maybe add to it if it's something simple that you want to do or detract from it if it's something that you want to do. Um, and then you could simply just format it back into the date timestamp using the previous video that we talked about for the for the date value date time value and I forgot the other one off the top of my head but in any event uh, those are ways or interesting ways that you could use it now more interesting I think is this weekday function so before we get there let's just look at this string that I put together so Sunday is the first day of the week Monday to the second day Tuesday the third day so on and so forth so if we just change out weekday or day to weekday to the weekday function if we look at the actual date and then pull up the calendar for 2020 and look at January 1st January 1st falls on a Wednesday for the year 2020 so this is why we're getting four back as the number so just keep in mind that the weekday functions work like this. It brings back a numerical integer. Uh, this is a good place that you might want to think or consider using a switch statement. That way you can have all these use cases there. That way, you, or you know, and when that happens, you can swap it out for Wednesday, Tuesday, you know, whatever the weekday is, and and change it out with a label. So a couple of different interesting twists on that one. So in the next video, we're going to get into really more of uh, date time manipulations and different things of that nature. I think this will be a little bit more exciting. Th this stuff's pretty just very straightforward. Um, you may or may not have a use case for it, but in any event, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.